This is the Professor Arun from the GSU. By now he is the Academic Chief in MIS, MIS Quarterly. And today is my pleasure to invite him to give some suggestion and advice how to do the good MIS research and be a good professor. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity. So just a couple of thoughts in terms of research. Uh, Today there are significant opportunities to do high impact research yes. in information systems. Today if you think about the world of information systems, we are having a dramatic impact on both business and society. Mm -hmm. I think what's really important for faculty members to identify with is a key problem area yes. that they relate to and that's also very important. Yeah, relate to the society, relate to business, business. exactly. Uh, I think over time if they are able to develop a deep understanding of a problem domain mm -hmm. or of a certain phenomenon, mm -hmm. they have a highly differentiated position to make uh, substantial scholarly contributions to that domain. Yeah. So my first suggestion would be to develop deep understanding of a problem domain or a phenomenon yeah. that the scholar has passion for, mm -hmm. and that is also very important. Yeah, but focus on the, re the research problem, yeah, related to the society and related to the business. Exactly. The second suggestion I would have is that as scholars are engaging with a phenomenon or with a problem, that they also use it as an opportunity to expand their theoretical uh, understanding about how they how would look at that mm -hmm. problem or that phenomenon. Yeah. And I think over time if uh, scholars are able to expand the theories that they are thinking about, the models that are available or that have been used in the past, they are able to really understand the limitations or inadequacies of those models and our current understanding relative to the problem of the phenomenon that they're studying. Yes. So that would be my second point, would be really getting familiar with the scholarship that's occurred in that area, both within the information systems discipline, but also in related areas that may also be looking at different aspects of that problem. Yeah, you become the, the interdiscipline. Exactly. So I think that would be my uh, second recommendation, would be to develop a robust understanding about the scholarship that has occurred mm -hmm. uh, around the phenomenon or problem, both from the vantage point of the information systems discipline, but also from the vantage point of other academic disciplines. Yes. And my third suggestion would be that uh, we continue to see dramatic expansions and sophistication, if you will, of uh, methods. Yeah. So remaining current with uh, methods, and today you know it's quite easy in a sense, uh, it takes time and effort of course, but to participate in workshops, to go to conferences, to attend webinars, uh, to just sort of uh, uh, learn about new methods that could be used or that could potentially be used. So it's not the point of necessarily using a new method, but being aware of the method, methods that are available, the different types of research designs that can be uh, deployed mm -hmm. for an investigation. Uh, again, expand the toolkit yeah. that a scholar can bring to a study. Yeah, use the potential the tools and to deal with the potential of the problem. Exactly. So I think those three aspects, maybe keeping those in mind in terms of the problem domain developing an immersion and engagement a deep understanding of the problem domain. Uh, second, of course, uh, developing a deep understanding of what scholarship has occurred, is occurring, mm -hmm. related to that domain, and then having a uh, methodological understanding mm -hmm. about possibilities. Yes. The final point I would make is, in our discipline, uh, we are collaborative. 
Yeah. We love to collaborate with each other. Yes. So scholarship does not need to be an isolated activity where a scholar says, I have to do all of this by myself, and mm -hmm. my God, it's boring. It doesn't need to be that. It, can, it is, in fact, a very enjoyable process where you know, we work together, we yeah. look at a problem together, and we uh, enjoy and learn from each other's experiences and different uh, vantage points and expertise. So I think for those that uh, uh, enjoy collaborative scholarship, I definitely am one of them. I think you are similarly very collaborative in your Yeah, with with Alan. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and scholarship has no boundaries. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, it's uh, information systems is a, a fantastic discipline. Yes. We have an amazing community and there are unbounded opportunities for meaningful collaborations that scholars can uh, engage in and participate in. And most importantly, make contributions, but also enjoy their journey as scholars. Yes. So those are some thoughts I have for the amazing uh, uh, scholarly community in, in, in Taiwan that we have. It's uh, a very strong community and continues to get stronger. Yes. Uh, so this is very exciting times, both for <laughs> the Taiwan scholarly community and for the information systems global community. Yeah, we, we, we love to, and we will do our best to participate as the community all over the world. Could you please tell us the, some, some things about the MS quarterly that we relate to the, and as the community in Taiwan? Yeah. So, um, I would make a comment here just um, about some of the initiatives which are designed to engage more with the community, yes. both in Taiwan and all over the world. Um, I will identify three such initiatives which I think are very helpful and, and likely exciting yes. for the community. The first is we are now on WeChat and I would ask uh, the community members in Taiwan mm -hmm. to uh, participate in the conversation, conversation in WeChat. So information about events, Event. stories about publications, publications, papers that have come out. So authors share their stories, they share uh, background information about papers. It's kind of very interesting. I think uh, people will enjoy seeing yeah, the agree. richer side of that yes. thing on a regular basis. The, uh, so there's the WeChat aspect from a social media conversation standpoint that I think uh, I would uh, encourage them and welcome their participation in. The other aspect is uh, we are starting uh, certain and we'll be offering uh, certain workshops yes. uh, at our major conferences. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we we'll have author development workshops. Yeah, cost that they workshop. And we'll also have a reviewer development, review. development workshops. So as uh, people want to engage more as reviewers for MIS quarterly and possibly even for other journals if they yes. participate in these workshops, yes. uh, it becomes uh, uh, quite valuable for them to sharpen their understanding about how to develop papers and review papers. And so we're very committed to this activity. So it would um, be very helpful for, for the as a scholar everywhere, not only in the Taiwan. Absolutely, it's a worldwide thing, and we're we're trying to. MIS Quarterly is a community journal. Yes. It's a global journal. It's our yes. journal. Yes. So for us, uh, we want to definitely participate very actively in developing our authors, uh, scholars, reviewers, mm -hmm. from a community standpoint. And so we're going to be doing that at our major conferences. The third aspect I'd like to share with you is we have also started an initiative called Research Curations. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Research Curations, the idea there is we have, uh, let's say, a punchy thematic topic on mm -hmm. which there's been some amount of work, mm -hmm. like security. Yeah. And uh, what we do in the Research Curations is we go ahead and develop a summary of the papers that have been published in MIS quarterly on that topic. Yes, and, and one paper already published there. Yeah, so uh, you've yes. seen that, yeah, you've seen yeah, that, yeah, okay, that's that. very nice. So we will continue to add uh, more research curations on topics where there's been reasonable activity of publications at the quarterly. And uh, we would like to summarize that 
make all of the articles, uh, the list of articles, yes. uh, readily available to authors. So mm -hmm. people who are starting to work in an area, say like as a PhD student or an assistant professor or a senior faculty member for that matter, who wants to start working on security, they can go in and they get a complete viewpoint of what's being published in the MIS quarterly uh, from that standpoint. But it's very good, I think, not only for, for the PhD students, also for all of us, for all of us, for all of us. And so. save, save lots of the time and then our, our energy to collect and to study one by one. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I, I, I think these are certain things we are doing right now at MISQ and, and we welcome the active participation and support of uh, everyone in Taiwan. Yeah. And I compliment you for uh, you know, helping us and of course the community and uh, we look forward to working with everyone together. Yeah, we, we will fully support you know, <laughs> as you lead here. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.